You can now get a 30-day trial to experience The Athletic for free. Visit the link in the description below to try it now. Football's handball law has changed again. The sport has struggled with adapting to the VAR era, and the last few years have shown that handball decisions were never intended to be made under a microscope. The International Football Association Board's response to that has been a succession of tweaks to the rules and a series of changes which have resulted in pedantic decisions on the pitch and confusion in the stands. In 2020, for instance, handball simultaneously became both tougher and more lenient. The laws around accidental handballs in the build-up to goals were relaxed, but a more binary approach to defensive handballs in the penalty box was implemented. The law changed to find a clear handball area, the outline of a t-shirt, and was also strict and inflexible about what constituted an unnatural position for a defender's arms to be in making little allowance for reaction times or how a body shape changes in the act of defending. Basically, if a defender's arms weren't by his side and a shot or cross hit him below the t-shirt line, it would be a penalty. And of course, it created chaos and led to dreadful decisions against Victor Lindelof at Old Trafford, Joel Ward at Selhurst Park and Eric Dyer at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, to name but a few. In the previous Premier League season, across 380 games, 19 penalties were awarded for handball. In the first 26 games of 2021, 20 penalties were awarded and 6 of them were awarded for handball, which according to a projection run by Sky Sports would have translated to 292 penalties across the whole season with 88 for handball. Clearly far too high, and the response was universally negative too. Gary Lineker was vocal in his disapproval, while then Crystal Palace manager Roy Hodgson believed that the handball laws were ruining the game. Aston Villa head coach Dean Smith went as far as to say that he wasn't sure how to protect his players from conceding soft penalties. It was very public condemnation, and it was little surprise that the laws were quietly relaxed over the course of the year, with several leagues easing away from the official IFAB guidance. And now there's been another official update, which was incorporated into the laws on July the 1st, 2021, and was used during the recent European Championship. It states that a handball will be given if a player deliberately touches the ball with their hand or arm by, for example, moving it towards the ball, scores in the opponent's goal directly from their hand or arm, or immediately after the ball has touched their hand or arm, even if accidental. So importantly, accidental handball that leads to a teammate scoring a goal or having a goal-scoring opportunity will no longer be considered an offence, taking away the kind of situation which saw a late West Ham goal against Sheffield United disallowed for an inadvertent Declan Rice handball. The third change might be the most important though, as it changes the definition of an unnatural position, the term which caused so much trouble a year ago. It says that a handball will be given if a player touches the ball with their hand or arm when it has made their body unnaturally bigger. But also that a player is considered to have made their body unnaturally bigger when the position of their hand or arm is not a consequence of or justifiable by the player's body movement for that specific situation. Now what that means is that referees are able to use common sense. There's an obvious joke to be made there, of course, but it stops officials from being bound by the laws and permits them to decide whether an arm movement is a natural and unavoidable consequence of jumping or sliding or affecting any other position in the act of defending. Essentially, the law has been adjusted to be a bit more situation-specific, and that should hopefully be a good thing. Roberto Rossetti, the former referee and now chairman of UEFA's Referees Committee, agrees. The way the law has been rewritten is more according to the spirit of football and gives players the freedom to play football, he said, before the changes were adopted. Now, cautiously, he might be right. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do enjoy TIFO, then you'll probably also like The Athletic. If you watch our tactics videos, you should go and read Michael Cox. If you're into data, read Tom Warville. And if you're into transfers, it's David Ornstein. Plus, if you're a fan of any Premier League team, then there's a journalist dedicated to you, and you can try it for free for 30 days now by clicking the link in the description.